Hey, what's up to all my bariatric beauties and my bariatric buddies? It's Neek Neek. Oh my God, I've been gone so long. I know the last time I did a video, it was my like week 15 post-op update. You know what? I look like Angie Mama with this thing on my head. Hold on. Give me a minute. I got to get cute for y'all. Hold on. And I'm going to show y'all. I'm doing something new. I'm usually scared of color, but dang it. I went blind for a hot second. Well, my weave went blind for a hot second. Let me, let me whip my hair back and forth. Eh, eh, wait. Uh, there you go. Don't tell nobody I did that. Okay, all right. Now I'm camera ready. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, Nick Nick coming at you guys, and I want to say that my um, last update was my week 15 post op update, and I don't even remember what I weighed that week, but I think this is now my week 20, and my highest weight was 299 day of surgery. I was 277. And as of today, today is the 16th of August, I am 210. What? 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 Yeah, 210. So everything is going amazing, swimmingly. Um, I'm so sorry that I haven't been doing my updates and coming to talk to you guys. I really, really, really have missed everyone. I've just been working like crazy, doing a lot of overtime, a lot of doubles. And I'm telling you, like, when I'm not at work, your girl is asleep. Like, I'm sitting in the bed right now under the covers. Covers, covers, covers. But, yeah. Um, I just want to let y'all know I'm doing great. I am alive. I will be back doing my weekly updates and body shots and recipes and all the other stuff I promised you guys. For those of you all who have reached out on Facebook, sending me messages, emails, I really appreciate hearing from you guys. It's so good to know that somebody, you know, is caring and seeing what's, what you're up to. I would like to show off these things right here that I got. I know, I had them last time, but they are out here. Do you see these? These is collar bones. Collar, mother fudge, sickling bones. OMG. I didn't have these before. And I'm not even pushing them out. I'm just sitting on the bed. But if I push them out, this bad boy is concave. I got collar bones, y'all. And I got a waistline. Um, clothing size, like that is definitely, definitely, definitely changed. I started out in a 20... I say anything, depending on the cut, it was like anywhere from a 22 to a 26. Like if it was low cut, see my track is showing. Can't be looking ratchet. Anyway, um, yeah, so like I started out in anywhere from 22 to a 26, 3X um, shirts. Yeah, I was a big one. But as of today, well not as of today, but mostly the things I've been buying now, I've been able to fit into 12s and 14 pants and large and medium shirts i actually was able to wear a medium maxi dress which is not highly forgiven of the rolls and stuff but it looks good and i couldn't complain so everything's good definitely been you know able to be more active getting my workouts on drinking my water getting my protein i have some really 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 good recipes for you guys i'm gonna bring those out in my next video and i just wanted to stop in and say hey let you guys know i love you so 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 much and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.